It's not about motivation. Winners need discipline. Wake up and win today. Discipline comes from within. Boxing King Media in association with Box Row. It's Friday night. Uh, Mr. Spencer Fearon is sipping away on a hype energy drink to keep yourself energized. But uh, or is it to deal with the shock? Pardon me? Or is it to deal with the shock of what's just come out? Um, no, it's because I'm just hooked on. There's two flavors on this hype energy drink that I'm absolutely hooked on. It's the cherry and the mojito. They're the two drinks that I'm that I'll keep on backing down. I've been drinking so much of them that sometimes I got a I got a stop drinking them. I don't know what's inside of them, you know. Well, don't, yeah, we... don't want you bouncing off the wall. The I don't know what they've got inside these drinks. Good man. Uh, Spencer, uh, news that has shocked the boxing world. I know some um, skeptics were saying it in the last week or so. Carl Foch has been public. You know, a lot of people on YouTube have been saying Tyson's going to pull out. This fight is never going to happen. It's cursed, etc. And lo and behold, unfortunately, um, Tyson Fury's got himself cut today. Um, it's a genuine cut. Um, I believe it was Kevin Lanara who challenged for the WBA regular heavyweight championship against Daniel Dubois, scored a knockdown and then got knocked at himself. I, I believe that was him sparring there, right? Because mm -hmm. he's a born you know, using him. Um, it's sad. It's really sad because I've been very, very vocal on how comes like Tyson Fury um, hasn't, especially from, from professional fighters or ex-fighters who have been world champions, hasn't really got their support. And I find it very, very um, disturbing that he hasn't received that that support when I believe that he should be getting that support. I believe that um, he, he, he's he been a very, very good ambassador for, for British boxing, especially being brave enough to travel out to America and go in against Deontay Wilder, who was the hardest hitting heavyweight out there and went in there and he, he, he performed aimably and, and, and beat him, in my mind, three times in the three times of their, their supposed trilogy. So uh, I'm a little bit on that, but then everybody else is saying like, oh, well, um, like I was being quite outspoken today on Johnny Nelson. Many had a very, very big back and forth. I'm saying why? Like I'm, I'm seeing a lot of negativity being pointed at Tyson Fury when I think we shouldn't be pointing no negativity at Tyson Fury uh, I, it's one of those things. I don't believe it's deliberate. I remember similarly when David Hay was meant to fight Tyson Fury back in, I think it was 214. Wow. Um, and he was meant to fight him. And uh, what happened was the the fight got cancelled because David Hay got cut. And it's amazing now when you look on how far Tyson Fury got gone within his professional career, what do you think would have happened if David Hay and Tyson Fury the fought then? Because a lot of people don't really argue, don't talk about that for some strange reason. But it'd be nice to hear what people actually think would happen in that fight. Um, like I said, I'm 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 gutted. I'm hearing through the grapevines that Hergovic is going to step in, but to to the to the to the great man of Turkey, Al Sheikh, really now really welcome to professional boxing because this stuff does happen, and. I can say similarly, if we go back to October of 1974, Muhammad Ali versus George Foreman, the Rumble in the Jungle, which was for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world, which George Foreman held. Ali was trying to regain it, right? And what happened in there, George Foreman, while in training, because the fight should have happened in, in September, I believe, of 74, George Foreman receives a cut and then the fight gets cancelled. August, the fight should happen. And then the fight gets postponed for six weeks, transpiring for it to happen in October. And this is just one of those kind of things. But if I'm talking history, on history, then it didn't fare well for the person that received the cut. But, you know, um, fingers crossed that everything goes happens and it gets rescheduled. For after Ramadan, um, but I think most probably being realistic, 
that fight will be looking at about July or even later than that because I believe that Usyk's going to fight and if he does fight, then he's going to need a few months off. So we may even see this fight happen maybe in September. But, you know I mean, I feel gutted for everybody involved. But the person who has to be given a lot of credit for business smarts is Anthony Joshua. Because I know Anthony Joshua's camp was saying, let's just wait it out and uh, uh, we'll fight the winner of, of Usyk and Tyson Fury. And to Tyson, to Anthony Joshua's credit, he was like, no, nah, I want to keep active. And there's a big money fight here with Ngannou and, fight, and, and let's big up Eddie Hearn and his team as well for putting that together with Turkey Al Sheikh and Frank Warren because that is a big fight now. And now, if if that fight was not selling, now it really, really will. Because as far as I'm concerned, historically, historically, Usyk Tyson Fury is a massive fight, right? It's a massive fight. You've seen everything they're pumping into it and the fact of history, why it's so big. But you know what? I'm just going to keep this thing totally 100, right? The streets are, 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 are talking heavily about Nganu and Nganu and Anthony Joshua. And if the fight of Nganu and Joshua was big before, after this happening now, it's even bigger. Okay. What well, what about the possibility of Spence? I've seen this as well, that they may push Joshua and Nganu forward. Could that be a possibility? Um why it's going to happen I can't see that happening um, I can't see that happening and they'd have to be well they can be they'd have to what do you say like, they'd have to be compensated well <laughs> Turkey Al Sheikh's got that kind of money so like, um, but forward in what way how how much forward I, I'm not sure what I do feel sorry for mm -hmm. I do feel sorry for people who bought their tickets I do feel sorry for the people that have been preparing to say they're going out to go and watch this fight. I do feel sorry for him, but this, this stuff does happen in professional boxing. It's one of the lost things. Um, if, say, if you're AJ or Ngannou, if and the money's put on the table to say, right, I want you both to fight on February 17th, three weeks before you're supposed to fight, do you think that's a possibility? Because I know it's a 10-rounder that they're fighting in as well. Um... It is a possibility, but I don't think it's going to happen. Okay. Uh, Philip Hergovic has been mentioned. I don't know if you know through the grapevine. Is he even in training? So I've looked at his Instagram. No no footage of him. Instagram don't tell you nothing. Everyone lies on Instagram. You know I mean, Instagram is the biggest tool for lies and pretense that we could ever have. Right? Seriously. Mm -hmm. I've yet to see someone post a red letter on Instagram. Okay. Um... How do you think Usyk's going to deal with this? Because this is the fight of his life. And I know both fighters, like Tyson, this, they wasted, well, not wasted, but they spent the new year away from the families. Uh, I know Usyk's been in Spain. Tyson's been in Riyadh for the last month or so. Because this must be really hard to deal with. Well, of course it is. Um, of course it is. So, <laughs> but all you can say is these things happen. Um, the fight's going to get rescheduled. Let's hope that... Um, I, I still wouldn't mind watching Hergovic versus Usyk, right? But I wouldn't pay per-view per to watch it. I'm going to be real with you. I watch the highlights on YouTube. That doesn't grab my attention like, what like this. Joseph Parker? What about Joseph Parker? Could, does he deserve that opportunity? After win, after yeah, I, I do believe he does deserve the opportunity. But where we will take it in that in the space of time, I'm not rightly sure, right? But I think Joseph Parker would take the fight because <laughs> he's muted to fight on the undercard, right? Mm -hmm. He no, he was fighting on the Joshua and Gunn undercard. Oh, okay, all right, all right. So, so if you're preparing for a southpaw, that's probably the only plus he's got preparing for Zang. Yeah, exactly. So you know what? Maybe they could maybe they could slip him in. You know what I mean? Or Zhang would be an excellent guy. Because I think um Chinese power will jump in and take that fight, you know. I really do. But you know what? All we gotta do is sit down with baby breath and wait to see what's 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 going to happen, you know. Um let's sit down with baby breath and, and let's and fingers crossed like the right things happen and the, and the and the big fights happen because 
one thing that we gotta give like the people who are the people who are doing this whole Saudi stuff, right? They know to put on decent fights, right? And they sit there and say, "Well, what?" And like a fair play, because Turkey Al Shaykh with uh, the private investment fund, they're like, "What's going to bring eyeballs to our country, right?" And it's a constant regurgitation of this, this, this is like you can't keep up. You're you're you're, you're literally running to keep still with what they're doing. Now we. We're gonna, I think something's going to happen. They're going to pull something, I believe. They did it before. They created Day of Reckoning within seven weeks, so any, anything's possible. Um, I've got to ask you, Spencer, you've seen the sparring footage. There's debate going on whether it was a punch or an elbow. Um, from what I've seen, it looks like an elbow. And I, and I agree with you because the shot landed more to, like, from, from the... To the eye socket from the to, from the bottom of the eye from the cheek cheekbone down to the jaw. That's where the shot landed from what I saw. And I, I don't think it was deliberate, but the elbow came over as well. And hence subsequently um Tyson Fury's cut and the fight's off. But you know what? It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. 15 stitches, Spencer. Test your boxing knowledge now, because I know you like this. In the history of boxing, 15 stitches, what we're looking at, like realistically. Like, you know. When could and if it's the same cut that's reopened as well potentially? Well, you... If it if it's if it's fifteen stitches on that, I'm telling you now, Tyson Fury's out for two months. Okay, so it's, it's still doable then, as long as he keeps fit, etc. He's he, that's what he's going to be. He's going to be out for that time. Two months, you're out. Okay, uh, crazy, crazy scenes. Uh, uh, when's the last time you was this shocked with some news? Last question. What in boxing? Yeah, when's the last time something like this kind of just made you think, "Fucking hell," because it's a proper gut of this, isn't it? Um, it is, but um, like I said, um, I don't know when we're thinking like on fights, on big fights that have been postponed, that have been that have been that gutting to me, right? But I could say, uh. The difference is this, when Muhammad Ali was due to fight George Foreman and George Foreman got cut, George Foreman actually could have died because George Foreman wanted to go back home. He was in Zaire, right, which is now the Congo, and he he wanted to go back home because he just didn't like the country, he didn't like anything that was going on. He wanted to go back home. George Foreman could have died. And not only could George Foreman could have died, Don King could have died if he didn't deliver that fight. Because at that time, that was the biggest fight in history financially. Uh, and this is financially the biggest fight in in the heavyweight division, financially, the biggest fight. It's been surpassed, like nobody's touched the numbers of Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. But, and that shows you just how fantastic Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao are to, to have accumulated those kind of funds. But there is, there is nothing to my memory that I could say, like, I was that gutted that this fight has been pulled and everything else. Um, I would say, tell a lie. I would go back to um, 1991 when Evander Holyfield was due to fight Mike Tyson and Mike Tyson popped his rib in, in sparring. And then it got delayed and then you had Mike Tyson and his court case for the assault charge which subsequently went to jail for. So, yeah, that was the most... I remember that because I was at college when that happened. I was like, I was well guided. So I really wanted to see that fight. It was um, Mike Tyson versus Evander Holyfield then. And, yeah, and subsequently Mike Tyson... Uh, Evander Holyfield ended up fighting Smokey Burt Cooper and then he getting knocked out himself. But, yeah, anyway, we harp on about history. Well, I think we've waited 22 years for the heavy, heavyweight undisputed fight, mate. If we're going to wait 20, for a few months, we're going to have to do it. 20, 25, 25 years. So there you go, then. So hopefully, so that, a few more months. Yeah, November 13th for Lennox Lewis and Van der Hollyford, when Lennox Lewis got the points from Van der Hollyford. After having a draw with Van der Hollyford, which was a very, very dodgy draw, but that was a last time. But you know what? I could bore you a lot with boxing history. And as you realize, there is no script or no box rec. Just phone me up and say, let's go. Spencer, we've just seen news of Carl Weathers, uh, the man who plays Apollo Creed in the famous Rocky movies. Uh, news of him just passing away. Um, 
sad news. No, that's really bad, you know, it's really sad. Simply because Paul Weathers, who was based on Muhammad Ali, right? Um, what are his chances? What was it? What fight was it that Tyson Fury had? He came out in in the wall. In the wall. Oh, it's Otto Wallen, isn't it? And it, and and what are the chances that on the day that this man dies, yeah, Tyson Fury came out in the Apollo Creed with with, with the hat and the American suit and everything else receives a cut on the same day that. You know, on the same day that um, Carl Weathers died. Great loss because for me, Carl Weathers made that rookie franchise. And I'm going to explain to you why. Because we ain't got a rookie junior, we got a Creed. It's like, I'm, wow. For me as a kid, he was a character. Even though we romanticized with, with, with Rocky Balboa because it's like the Rex Sarishas kind of story. But Carl Weathers made that series. I'm telling you. And to see this man die, he was he's like, he's 76. You know what I mean? It's like, he's had a good innings. He's had a, he's had a fantastic run. He's, he's been in quite, another, quite a few other films. He's in some movie with Adam Sandler, some comedy as well. Um, it is sad because it's more like a wow because you have not seen a greater entrance ring entrance in professional boxing or on TV than his entrance with James Brown in the Rocky Four when he comes out to fight, he comes out of retirement to fight um, Ivan Drago. That was an incredible ring entrance. And like, it's kind of weird how like, life imitates art a lot. And off of the back of that, now we're seeing some crazy ring entrances, but that 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 movie, or even in the original Rocky, which is in 1976, and he does he does the same kind of entrance, but it was like, yeah, it was it's it's it's, it's crazy. It's really really crazy. But it's crazy on the links that Tyson Fury actually wore the Apollo Creed stuff, and on the day that the man died, it's the same. The, 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 and now he's out of fight. And the man. Fight. The fight that he wore that outfit in was the fight he got that crazy cut in, which appears to be the cut that's reopened. Uh, and another crazy fact, uh, the movie, uh, first Rocky movie, 1976, he came out. Yeah, 1976, he came out in that, and he came out in the 1985. That's how old he is when he's died, 76, okay. like you said. Yeah, and now he's, and now he's um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, yeah. But you know what? I, I really enjoyed the Rocky movies. It was... Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed them up to now. I watch them now. Um, but yeah, may, you know, may, may Carl Weathers um, rest in eternal peace. I hope so. Uh, Spence, uh, appreciate your time. I know it's late, so I'm going to let you crack on and uh, I'll see you oh, tomorrow in the boxer show. See you tomorrow. That's going to be a big fight. What? See you, I can't wait for it. Love. Love. Peace. Listen, I got a question for you. Where can discipline take you? Discipline points you towards your goals. 